Hey, beautiful people. Catherine Beeks with you. Another episode of Animals and Their People. Today with my new friend, Shelly Munoz. Shelly, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. What a great opportunity. I'm so excited to be here oh, and share this time with some very special friends. I can't wait to meet those babies. So you and I met recently. Um, uh, we're, we have this project we're working on together called Looped. Uh, you have a, comedia a comedic background. What do you do, Shelly? Tell me everything. Well, my real life, I have many hats in life, <laughs> but I'm a teacher. I'm a science teacher at a STEM Academy. And so I love, love, love teaching. And um, so that's what I spend a lot of times doing. And with you guys know, with this online teaching thing right now, it's been nuts. This last week has just been crazy, crazy, crazy. So who do you have there? This is Stella Luna. And Stella is our, one of our newest family members. Yes. Uh -oh. So Stella Luna, um, she has a great story that um, I have a friend who called me and said, oh my goodness, Shelly, they just brought all these little dogs from Mexico. They were in deplorable conditions. They're gonna be put down tomorrow. Will you come look? And of course you know me. I was like, yeah. And so we kind of walked through, my son and I, and I didn't really see anything. And it was my son actually that pecked Stella Luna out. And long story short, she was incredibly sick. She, um, you know, she was the money pit for quite a long time because she had quite a few different illnesses and sicknesses. and. Uh, long story short, she is the greatest dog ever, and um, I'm so, my son is amazing at picking out animals, and just a beautiful extension to our family. She's super snuggly and loving, um, though I did try to get her her service dog, and I don't know if you can see her little tag. Yeah. She can't earn it because she just wants to kiss everybody. <laughs> and the thing that's so gross about her is that she likes to kiss in your nose and it's just really <laughs> gross and disgusting and there's no feeling like it on the planet and it's not good. So, <laughs> but that's okay. She doesn't need, she's my service dog. So she certainly likes to snuggle and love and all of that kind of stuff. So she's adorable. It's so smart. I know she just watching her uh, react to you talking about her is so funny. Yeah, she knows I'm talking about her, I guess. Now, the funniest thing about Stella Luna, in my opinion anyway, when we first got her, is she's got kind of like that ghetto attitude. And it's like, when she, the way, and she's super sweet, so I don't want to mislead anybody, but I'll look over at her and she'll be like looking at me. And I'm like, you look just like Snoop Dogg. And, or she'll be like, like this all the time at me. And I'm like, so I, she has a Facebook, page, or excuse me, Instagram page that she has her doppelganger uh, Snoopy pictures. <laughs> so absolutely hilarious. We'll have to send people there to look at them because they're very cute. She does have sort of a, a Snoop swagger to her, I see. Yeah, she, she certainly got the vibe. So <laughs> she's real chill. <laughs> right on. Okay, well, who else is in your family? Chewy is uh, 12 years old. And today was a special day with us and Chewy. Uh, my son was a senior. And Chewy has now seen Matthew off to 12 years of school. So I have, I know that I had shared that with you, his first grade picture and now his 12th grade picture. And you know, I think what makes that so special is that um, I think all kids should grow up with a dog. I just think it's the most special relationship. And my son and him have had the greatest time ever from when Matthew was a little boy, they would like camp in the backyard and they'd go hiking and just the amazing friendship. And it was so cute because my son finally got his first car. First thing he did is come get Chewy and take him for a spin around the neighborhood. So <laughs> yeah, you remember that it was so fun. So now awesome. Chewy's claim to fame when he was a younger man, he was on the SoCal Surf Dog Club and so he used to surf for charity and you guys can do we really have to wrestle right now so he used to surf like literally people think i'm joking when i say that but i'm not and so he used to surf and raise money for different charities and stuff i don't know where he's going so oh, oh i love it yeah it's so good do you want me to go see if i can find my cat of course okay let's see she, i think she's just right here and hopefully i can maybe sit up a little bit more this is my beautiful cat neoma uh neoma actually is my son's cat she kind of just stella luna the little black dog is my girl but she loves 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 matthew she's always in his room always hanging out with him but she hangs pretty tight with the dog she's got all kinds of she's just right there all the time with them 
So I'll tell you her special story because I think, you know, all animals have a special story and they're all amazing in their own right. I had a cat named Sammy and I had Sammy for many, many, many years and I adored Sammy. And Sammy, unfortunately, she passed away. And I had this kind of like, I, don't know, I guess it was like a funeral in the backyard for her. And I have this gazebo and we got a little cat statue in honor of her. And all these amazing things happened when we did that. These birds kept coming. So, and I kid you not, first there were two doves that came and then there were two ducks that came. And I know it sounds crazy. I promise I'm not making it up. And then hummingbirds came and then these, I start crying, these little yellow birds came. And it just made me feel like in some weird way that she's still with us. So it was about a month later, I went to the, I went to a pet store that I never, ever, ever go to. And my voice in my head said, you know what? You need to go look at the cats. And I'm like, go look at the cats. And I kid you not, she looked exactly like Sammy. Wow. And I started crying. Oh, so I started crying now. Time about This has been a long time. <laughs> um, but when I held her, it's like, she was like, oh my gosh. It's like, in some strange way, she came back to me. Now I know she's a separate cat and I don't expect her to be Sammy but there's this beautiful connection between her eye and Sammy was my girl, but in, in um, me almost definitely Matthew. So it's like she came back to be his cats. So I guess on a nutshell, you know, I'm always working on all kinds of stuff. I, I don't understand how people are bored because life is magical and beautiful. And there's just like, you know, this amazing woman that I get to meet who's so creative and talented and you're doing all these great things online just to, reach out to people and help give them comfort in the time that, you know, people just need to laugh. We connect to animals. So I thank you so much for that. Just thank you so much for sharing your life with us today. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Wow. Thank you. It was so much fun.